Hello everybody, this is the Clint River Steelheader. Um, I am not really doing a review. Uh, I'm just going to give you some information on um, a gift that my wife got me for Christmas and it is a kingpin. It was very fortunate. Um, she worked with uh, a gentleman, I'll give his information at the end, uh, on roughly two months. Um, to custom order it, get it, because it's not it's not one of your typical colors. Um, starting off with the neoprene case cover, um, very well, very thick, very fluffy. Um, but here she is. So here's a case, and. So what you're looking at here is the 2018 Zeppelin uh, second generation. It's um, they've just started coming out with these, so I've been told. Um, so this reel right here is number 520, but I am told that it is the only sixth uh, reel that's purple that's been made. And uh, according to the person that sold me it, I am the only one in the United States and Canada with a purple one. Don't know if it's true. I hope it is. It's pretty cool. Um, the the one thing I'll see if I can do it, but uh, the one thing I, I will say is these uh, new screw caps are uh, quite cumbersome to take off uh let's see if i can get this in there but they are actually if you see these three little dots uh they're keyed so there's an actual tool that uh, your kingpin um service provider can use to take these off um if you try really hard you can probably get it off i actually tore off a good chunk of my skin um uh, but enough with that uh so what I can tell you about these new pens, uh, they're the same as the old ones in diameter and spool width. So they're uh, four and three quarters inches. Uh, the spool width is three quarters of an inch. It weighs 9.1 ounces, which is 0.9 ounces lighter than the previous model. It was at 10 flat. Uh, the bearings are German marine grade ABEX 7 bearings. Uh, there is a... There is a difference. Uh, there used to be a little uh, twist right here where you would disengage the, um, I call it a stop, people call it a clicker. I don't think it's really a clicker, but it's been moved. It has been moved to a little side um, mount, I guess. Uh, there used to be like a little button and you would twist it back and forth. Uh, they switched it to be integrated with the actual back plate. So there are no bumps. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that, um, less snags or something to catch on and maybe scratch the back plate. Uh, the one thing I did notice right away about this back plate is it is, I don't know what this coating is, but it is very durable. Um, it is extremely thick. Um, that being said, I actually went to the Zeppelin, excuse me, the Kingpin website and actually looked it up. And uh, it's, it's done on purpose. Uh, it is a uh, two times hard finish. Um, the kingpins are actually when you rest them, if you should have rest them down, you lay them on the back, which makes sense if you take a picture down. Uh, if you put your rod down by a fish, usually there's rocks or gravel. And uh, it's made so it doesn't scratch your actual pin, which I think is very, very, very nice. Um, so the machining itself, it's, uh, it's almost very ported. And the one thing that they did change is the spokes. So... Uh, these are concave and they go into the center, but the thing that they changed is that if I can get the camera angle right is that these used to be solid and now the spokes are hollowed out. So it's more of a 3D effect. Um, it's lightened at point uh, almost a whole ounce itself. The hardware on the inside is stainless steel. Um, it's very simple. It's a uh, one, two, three, four, four pieces, a spring, a piece part that looks like an L, triangle, and the actual lever itself. 
Um, I understand, yes, it wouldn't be a center pin video if I didn't at least give this thing a twirl. Um, but that's not why I'm doing this video. <laughs> um, I did already get it spooled up. Uh, I have lime green for my backing. And then for my line, I used uh, Signalon F. It is... I went with a very light line. I went with 10 pounds. Uh, it's made by Sunline Co. It's a uh, fluorescent monofilament line. It's a water repellent resin processed line. Sure. Uh, the reason why I went with this line is I have a few friends that have switched over to this line and they like it. And I'm okay with using 10 pounds because uh, I can land I can land my kings on 10 pounds. Uh, I just take my time. Um, so along with this, um, so my like I said, my wife did order this for Christmas. It um, has custom handles. Uh, they're just they went from black to just black and red. Uh, the foot itself. Uh, if you get a, uh, a normal one, it's uh, it, it's black. It just matches the uh, the back plate. But in this case, I got it to match my reel. Uh, so we went over the new style clicker. Uh, everything now is inside of stainless steel. Uh, there are customized colors you can get. Um, there are four that are the basics, which is your blue, your gray, black. Almost looks like a pewter color. And then on demand, there's purple, there is a brighter blue, a bright orange, and a color that looks yellowish green. Um, but it takes about two weeks uh, more to get it. And so in this case, um, my wife had time. She went out um, two months prior and started the, uh, the process of uh, getting me this. Um, so this was actually picked up at Hook, Line, and Sinker in Gulf Canada. Uh, my wife and I, uh, my wife, as a surprise, she's like, hey, we need to go pick up something. I'm like, okay. Well, when we got to the Canadian border, I kind of knew something was up. And that's when she let me know that um, what we're, where we're going. So um, we went through a snowstorm, <laughs> oddly enough. And uh, a round trip was eight hours. Uh, got to spend some time with the owner, uh, Ray. A uh, very nice gentleman. Uh, treated his... Treated everyone in that store like family. Uh, I can tell you that I have not been this impressed with a level of customer service uh, in my life uh, and everything. Uh, he's also nice enough to give me some beads to, uh, to give it a go and try. Um, but uh, he had a, probably the greatest selection of center pins um, I've ever seen in my life. I think he had like 15 or 16 in stock. He had more in the back. Uh, any kind of line you, you could ever want, any kind of float you could ever want. I want to say he carries anywhere between, I'd say, two to 500 floats. Uh, it's not like here in Michigan when you try to get something, you have to order it. Um, the gentleman's been in business for 25 years. Uh, he is in no way endorsing anything that I'm doing. Uh, I made my purchase with my own money. Uh, I was not given anything except for these beads for free, uh, which I'm not going to even do a review on. They're, they're just your typical... UV glow beads, um, but uh, just a great gentleman. He uh, spooled everything up for me. He, um, you know, he took his time with putting the backing on, making sure that you know since these are shallow or spools, he didn't put too much on. Instead of using you know a typical 150 yards, he put 75 on because it is a little bit shallower. But you still want to have a little bit of a lip on both sides to be able to manage your line. And I think he did a wonderful job. Um, he was extremely polite. My, my wife, who doesn't know anything about fishing, was able to get this customized and in my hands before Christmas. Uh, I'm grateful for her for that and I'm grateful for Ray for taking such good care of my wife. Um, so I guess that's it. So I haven't taken this out yet. As you can tell, it's still brand new in the box, but it's brand new. Uh, the porting on it is amazing. The the almost the 3d effect of the of how it's just machined is amazing um i'll go into your typical hey let's give it another spin and yes there are abex seven bearings 
Yes, it barely feels like it's dragging in my hand. If I turn it, yes, of course, you have centrifugal force. You're going to feel it, but um, no way, no shakes, no wobbles. Uh, this thing is uh, amazing. Um, I, I absolutely love it. It's a great reel. Um, I just can't wait to take it out. Unfortunately, we, we're in the middle of sub-zero weather in Michigan, so I probably won't be able to take this out for another two or three weeks. Um, but, uh, if you guys like my videos, if you guys like what I show you guys, please subscribe and don't like the videos, tell a friend. Um, the, I guess the more likes I get, the more reason I have to do more of these videos. Um, I plan on grabbing some of my friend center pins as well. They have others, other brands that, uh, you know, I, you just don't see them on YouTube. You don't see reviews of anything yes i understand this is this may be an expensive reel but and i've I went out and i've purchased a 21 dollar reel and a 39 dollar center pin reel uh just to do reviews on them uh, you know not everyone has to spend you know a couple hundred bucks for a matrix or for a sheffield or for an islander which are all great reels i mean i've, I've i know friends that have had them for years and they're like nope we're perfectly fine we're not we don't have to yeah, we don't have to upgrade um but uh, once again, this is Clint River Seal Header. Remind me to have fun out there fishing, tight lines, and get hooked, guys.